Hello, guys. Hello, Alex. Can you hear me? Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. No, good night. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good Remember, evening. good evening. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. If you say good night, it's because uh, we are going to sleep, right? But good evening is like a buenas, right? So good evening, uh, Rosa. Good evening, Nelson. All right. Who else? Is, who good else evening, is here? Teacher. Good evening, Abigail, Eva, Rosa, Rosa, Joanna, Carla. Thank you so much for being on time. Cameras on, please. Try to play your camera on. And let's start with our classes, all right? So first to the first, we are going to double check our motivation part. Lo primero, lo primero, vamos a empezar a, a verificar nuestra, nuestra motivación. All right, and that would be it, okay? Share a screen. Give me one second. Déjame chequear esto. Y nos vamos por acá. Vamos a ver. Un momento, por favor. Okay, guys, let me see. Let me know if you're able to see my screen, please. Are you able to see my screen? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good, very good, okay. Okay, guys, uh, remember that we need to be motivated, right? So every, every time that we are studying or every time that we start something, all right, we need to be motivated, all right? So if you're not motivated about something, it's like a, you are boring, you're not doing nothing, or you are just killing time, all right? So si usted no está motivado, pues es como que esté aburrido, solo está pasando el tiempo, all right? So if I ask this question, uh, Nelson, what is your motivation? What would be your answer? My motivation is to learn English to travel and improve I work. Very good, very good, excellent. All right, so your motivation is learn to speak English because you you think that you will travel, you will travel, you know, pretty soon, right? So very good. So Rosa Feliciana, tell me, what is your motivation, Rosa? My motivation is my daughter. <laughs> Your daughter, right? Yeah, excellent. My family, right? My family, my family. My motivation is my family. Very good, excellent. All right, so con eso dice todo. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, Hugo, what is your motivation? Tell me. Good night, teacher. Good evening. My motivation is, uh, is learning a new way to express myself. Learning a better way to express myself. All right. So very good. Very good. So in other words, myself, learn, myself. learn to speak English, you know, better in order to express myself in a different way. Very good. Very good. All right. So excellent. So what is your motivation, Eva, Elizabeth? My motivation is me daughter. Your daughter, very good, my family. Thank you very much. Joanna, what is your motivation? My motivation is uh, we go to travel in another country. Oh, you would like to travel a different country? Very good. You need to learn to speak English because you need to develop or you need to express yourself in a better way as soon as you fly, as soon as you travel. Very good, excellent. All right, let's see some other guys. All right, so Carla, Sofia, what is your motivation? Tell me. Carlita is not there. Okay, Melissa, what is your motivation? Uh, get a better job. Excellent, very good. Uh, Stephanie, what is your motivation? Take uh, a... Mejores oportunidades de estudio, ¿cómo sería? Uh, get a better opportunities, you know, be uh, get a, a better opportunities. Uh, it'll go to a, a different, I mean, it'll go to a, get a better opportunities and study opportunities in order to go to the university. Very good, very good. All right, so Jancy, what is your motivation? Swani, what is your motivation? 
All right, guys. Um, go ahead. Mm, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. My motivation is to learn English to develop professionally in my career. Career, career. or career, okay. all right. So, okay, my motivation is uh, to learn to speak English and complete my career in a better way. That's what you're saying? Yes? Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so now, guys, let's repeat. Mistakes are proof. Mistakes are proof. Are proof. That you are trying. That, that you are, you are, are trying. trying. That you are trying. That, that, that you are, are trying. trying. Very good, very good. Let me read it back to you, okay? So, mistakes are proof that you are trying. What did that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Okay, so guys, si no cometemos mistakes, si no cometemos errores, o sea, como que, como que no tiene chiste, ¿no? Como que no tiene chiste la vida, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, por errores es que usted está aprendiendo. Si usted comete un error hoy, no se preocupe. All right? So, yo lo motivo a que continúe, 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 porque either or, I mean, either way, excuse me, teachers, you know, myself, I do make mistakes every day. I'm a human being and uh, I accept it, all right, that I do make mistakes, all right, so practically so sometimes you know we don't understand or sometimes we don't we don't see our mistakes pero si sí cometemos errores ya sea en español hablando español o hablando inglés all right so pero de los errores uno este aprende verdad entonces mistakes es la prueba de que usted, que usted lo está intentando okay so mistakes are proof that you are trying okay so very good very good so let's jump to our topic, let's see, we're going to double check a uh, previous topic that we checked uh, yesterday. So I don't know if you remember what, uh, what what topic we checked last night. What was the topic that we checked last night? Do you remember? Adjectives, right? Adjectives. 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 Very good, very good. So if I ask Melissa what are adjectives is or what are adjectives are, what would be your answer? Mm, uh, about me. About you, or most likely is uh, adjective is what we talk about somebody, ah, right? So, uh, it's what I say of these people. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, in other words, es el adjetivo es el que califica el nombre, verdad? Al al sujeto. ¿Verdad? So, es un calificativo el que califica al sujeto. ¿Quién es, quién es el sujeto, Abigail? Um, I, you. Um, very good. We, He, uh, <laughs> very good, very good. So, we already know that, right? So, excellent. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play this video once again because yesterday we just checked a little bit. So, primero recordarles, ¿verdad? Que teníamos una tarea, no era obligación, solamente era que ustedes tenían que coordinar ideas respecto a la clase que vimos last night, right? So, you just need to coordinate ideas, right? So, related to this topic, this one, and this one right here, right? Remember that we, we checked last night something, I mean, some examples about B plus adjective, and some other examples uh, about adjective plus noun. Entonces, chequeamos ejemplos respecto a be más adjetivo y otros ejemplos acerca de adjetivo más de nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, es prácticamente lo mismo, ¿verdad? Fácil. Usted solo tiene que coordinar ideas acá. ¿A dónde usted va a poner cada, cada, cada parte de la oración, verdad? Entonces... Si la oración es a uh, firefighter's job is dangerous, entonces aquí el maestro nos va a explicar que tenemos que poner primero el artículo. Ok, aquí ese quiero que me lo elimine por un momento. Ya lo voy a eliminar, espérenme, para que no se me vaya a confundir. Permítame. Permítame donde se elimina esto. Quiero ver si lo puedo eliminar así. ¿Dónde está? Vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a eliminar este. Este me lo elimina, ¿verdad? 
que ni lo eliminé, solo le, lo, le, le pasé un color encima. Entonces, solo enfoquémonos en el artículo, ¿verdad? Que es, los dos son artículos, pero solo vamos a enfocarnos en, en A. All right, so, ok, en A plus profession plus job plus bird to be, que en este caso el bird to be sería is, it could be are or am, right? Acuérdense que el bird to be es is, am, and are. Y al final, pues, vamos a poner acá lo que es el adjetivo. Ok. So, entonces vamos a limpiar acá la, la, la pizarra o más bien el screen. Y vamos a darle play al video. Ok. Give me one second. Fighter. Tips. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express. Uh, let me make a, a short parenthesis here, guys. And um, let me ask you a quick question. Do you know what it, uh, what it means or what, what it, that means when this girl says, that's exciting? ¿Qué quiere decir ahí cuando? That's exciting. ¿Qué quiere decir? Es como excitante, excitante o algo así como una Emocionante. Emocionante. Eso es, emo hey, qué emocionante trabajar de, de, de bombero, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok, very good, very good. And acuérdese que cada vez que esta niña está hablando, ella habla con mucha elegancia, ¿verdad? Por ende, ellos son nativos. Entonces, para aprender un inglés bonito y que se le oiga con elegancia, tratemos de imitarlo a la mejor manera que se pueda. Por ejemplo, either or, if you are talking in Spanish, all right, so remember that always, if you are reading a paragraph and you see commas, uh, dots, points, all right, slash, or question marks, you need to sound like, you know, like the way it is. Si usted mira puntos, comas, plecas, signos de interrogación, de admiración, tenemos que sonar como ende, ¿verdad? Porque si yo le pregunto... Eh, Ruth, ¿tienes sueño? ¿Ver, ¿Verdad que si le pregunto así a ella? O sea, ella sintió así como que Como que Golpeado, ¿verdad? Pero si yo le digo, Ruth Usted, usted tiene sueño Así, ¿verdad? Pero tengo que sonar con, como pregunta Same thing in English, right? So, if you see this lady Every time that she's Seeing or she's looking A question mark She sounds as question every time, right? That she is uh, reading a sentence. Let me play it back to you just to verify, okay? Let's see. Not bad. I'm a firefighter. It's uh, great. Yes. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or an plus profession plus apostrophe plus job plus verb to be plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case a then we have profession plus apostrophe s which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is. is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. 
Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A, then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A, then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys, I just want to make sure that you guys understood this uh, topic. Everything is clear about the information that this teacher just uh, gave us. Yes, está claro todo. A, a todo, a todo lo que nos ha dicho, nos ha dicho este profesor acerca de este tema, está claro? Do you have any questions? If you don't have any questions, okay, let's jump to the next topic. All right, so, and before I jump to our next topic, let me ask you a quick question. Did you complete the sentences that I told you last night? Completaron las oraciones que le dije anoche. You did? Yes, yes or not? Not. Okay, no. are, okay, si lo hizo o no lo hizo, ok, esta es su opinión, ¿verdad? Solamente yo le dejo sus tareitas para que usted aprenda más, ¿verdad? O sea, yo sé que pasa estresado, pasa trabajando y no es justo. Enough with the platform, right? So we have enough, all right? So, but if you can complete the activities that I'm, that I'm putting on our WhatsApp group, so try to do something, all right? So, and you'll see the differences, okay? So let's pass to our next uh, topic. All right, we already complete this one, right? So previously, so over here we have a knowledge check, okay? So let's see, uh, Ana Maria, Ana Marina, please help me with this, with this instruction. Instruction, why is sentence a different Way following the example, no period at the end of your sentence needed. All right, let's repeat right. Right, right. 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 Sentence. 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 Different way. Different, Different way. way. Follow. Follow. No period. No, no period. At the end. And your sentence. Your sentence. Need. 
Mm. Okay. What happened, Alex? For the exercise que no lo hicimos. Oh, no, no no problem, no problem. It's okay. No no worries, okay? Let's see. All right. So, we already have this because I already complete this one, right? So, but I believe you have uh, the same answers, right? So, and it says like this, escriba cada oración de la diferente manera posible, sigue el ejemplo, no necesita colocar el punto al final de su oración, ya está colocado, okay? So, a police officer job is dangerous. Let's repeat, a police officer yeah. has a dangerous a job. A police, a police officer, officer has a dangerous job. job. All right, a teacher job is stressful. A teacher, a teacher has a stressful job. A teacher has a stressful job. Okay, a plumber job is boring. A plumber job is boring. A plumber has a boring job. A plumber has a boring job. A boring job. All right. An electrician job is difficult. An electrician job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. An electrician has a difficult job. Has a difficult job. Excellent. A vendor job is easy. A vendor job. A vendor's job is easy. A vendor has a easy job. Okay, now let me ask you a quick question. All right, so why we start this sentence with N? Because the word is with vocal. <laughs> I don't know. Very good. Very good. Yes, that's practically the definition. We start with article N because uh, the next uh, word or adjective is started, all right, or, or it starts with um, a vocal, right? All right, so we have a que empieza con vocal. Siempre que empieza con una vocal, usted le pone N. Electrician has a difficult job, right? So, y si se fija acá, aquí empieza con, con A porque empieza con consonante, el, ¿cómo se llama? El adjetivo, correcto, o el nombre, okay. perdón. All right, so just be careful, okay? So next, if you don't have any questions, let's pass to our next um, topic, okay? So let's see. One second. Uh, okay, en serio, somos dos igual no he podido hacerla, pero aún acepta de me buscaré para hacerlas. Okay, uh, Alex, please be my guest and repeat this uh, lesson adjective, please. By the end of this class, you will develop prediction and interesting skill after reading and discussing an article on your prof profiles. Okay, let's repeat profiles. 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 Let's repeat job. 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 Let's repeat article. 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 Discussing. Discussing. Reading. 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 After. 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 Skills. 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 Inferencing. 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 All right, if we're not sure what it means or what it says, all right, let's go to the, to our translator, right? So let, let's take a look. Let's see. Let's see. Inferencing. 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 Excellent. All right. So inferencing. So prediction. Prediction. Develop. Develop. And that would be it. Okay. So let's see. Let's go to the next uh, next topic. All right, so now let's read, I mean, let's uh, uh, let's repeat, reading jobs profiles. Reading job profiles. Job profiles. Job profiles. Okay, let me, let me ask here, let's see. Um, Ana Xiomara, please uh, tell me, let's see, 
what was the question that I was going to ask. Okay, tell me the four skills that we already know. Dígame las cuatro eh, habilidades que tenemos que saber para aprender o para ya saber hablar inglés. ¿Cuáles son? Cuatro. Yo las mencioné al principio o a, a mediados del, del... O esta semana creo que las mencioné. Reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. Reading. Listening. 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 Um, writing, and, writing and speaking, right? So let's repeat everybody. Reading. 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 Speaking. Listening. Speaking. Listening. 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 And writing, right? And writing. Four skills, all right? So. Four skills. Very good, very good. Okay, so now. Uh, jobs, uh, job profile means, guys, that we are going to double check what each guy, for example, in this case, we are going to double check information about Lisa Parker, John Blue, Becky Pick, and Carlos Ruiz. We are going to double check what they do. All right. So, ¿qué hacen ellos? All right. El profile, el perfil de ellos, lo vamos a saber en pocas palabras, en este momento, cuando le demos play al video, all right. right? So, eso quiere decir job profiles, all right? Perfil de trabajo, ok? So, usted yo le pregunto, ¿cuál es su perfil de trabajo? Usted me dice, yo soy un diseñador, yo soy un ingeniero, este, tomo clases en la noche de inglés, este, doy clases de, de ingeniería en la tarde, y on and on and on, right? So you start uh, talking about your job profile, all right? So you 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 will try to explain what do you do every single day, okay? So let's play the video, okay? Just a moment. Work helps with after school activities and of course he teaches and of course he teaches. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, class, uh, right now, as you can see, we just double check some job profiles, right? From these two, I mean, from these four guys, Lisa Parker, Becky Peck, uh, Carlos Ruiz, and John Blue, okay? So I believe everything is understood, right, about Lisa Parker. It says like this, has two jobs, tiene dos trabajos. She works uh, as a waitress at night, trabaja como mesera en la noche, but she's really an actress, pero de, 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 de veras o... Oh, Realmente ella lo que es, es una actriz. During the day, durante el día, sus audiciones por, para, para, la, para las obras de teatro y televisión y los shows de televisión. Su horario dice bien, bien difícil y she is tired a lot. Ella está bien cansada todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero she is following her dreams. Ella está siguiendo su sueño. Después nos vamos con Becky Peck. Dice, walks in the park every day for many, for many hours. 
Rain or shine, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs from, I mean, for other people. Sometimes she she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay. Ella trabaja de encaminadora de, per, de perritos, ¿verdad? A veces se lleva 20 perros al parque de una sola vez. Imagínense, 20 perritos, ¿ok? So, y ella trabaja en el parque todos los días, ¿ok? Por muchas horas. Nos vamos con John Blue. Este es el, creo que es el mejor. Trabaja por diversión. Dice, a lot of teenagers want jo, John's, John Blue job. ¿Ok? John Blue's job. Todos quisieran tener el trabajo de John. Dice, he plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game a tester for a big video game company. It's every, I mean, it is ever boring. Never John almost always win. Okay, so imagínense le pagan por trabajar ocho horas, por estar ahí jugando. Y Carlos Ruiz, que es un maestro, ¿verdad? Que pasa bien ocupado. Él plane, hace, hace planeaciones como las la, la, la que hacemos nosotros los maestros, eh, de trabajos, y él ayuda a, en la escuela con las actividades, y quiero ver, el salario de él no es bueno, pero para él está bien, sus estudiantes le gustan sus clases, y él por eso es feliz, ok, so ese es hablar acerca de el perfil de una persona, job profiles, repeat, job profiles, job profiles, Excellent. Do you have any questions before we pass to the next uh, topic, guys? No questions? All right. So let's see. All right. We already. Yes, Mace. Have another question. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar work y cuándo vamos a utilizar food? ¿Cuándo? Perdón, me repite la pregunta, por favor. Sí. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar la palabra work? ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar la palabra job? Job, ok, very good question. All right, for example, si yo le digo, ¿de, de qué trabaja usted? Perdón por la pregunta. Mm, ¿Vendedora? ¿Sales woman? Sales, sales person, ok. So, si yo le pregunto, where do you work? Usted me dice, I am working at the supermarket, ¿ok? Y, o sea, no tiene que ser específica, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Yo le pregunto, where do you work? I am working at the supermarket that is near to my house, que está cerca de mi casa. Pero si yo le digo, what type of job or what kind of job do you do? ¿Qué tipo de trabajo es el que hace usted en el supermercado? Entonces, en el supermercado, acuérdese que usted va a trabajar de salesperson, de cashier, de, ¿cómo se dice? De, de butcher, que es carnicero, carnicera. Va a trabajar de, de security guard. Entonces, usted va a utilizar siempre cuando le digan what type of job. O sea, qué tipo de trabajo es el que usted hace. El work le va, es cuando usted, le, cuando usted le preguntan dónde trabaja, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, ¿dónde trabaja este Miss? Oh, I am working at, y le dice el lugar. Oh, what do you do there? Oh, my job there is to help people to sell these products and on and on and on, ¿verdad? Eso es la diferencia. ¿Está claro? Yes. ¿O le quedó alguna dudita? No, teacher. Thank Very you. Good. You're welcome. Okay, so, all right, let's uh, answer. I already have the answers over here. So, and it says like this, right? Read the article. Who do you think might say these things? Select the name. ¿Quién cree usted que puede decir estas cosas? Seleccione el nombre. Okay, this, uh, after I win, I take a break. ¿Quién lo dijo? June Blue. I don't usually work in summer. ¿Quién dijo esto? Carlos Ruiz, ¿verdad? The restaurant closed late around 2 a.m. ¿Quién dijo esto? Lisa Parker. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. ¿Quién dijo esto? Becky Peck. Okay. So, let's repeat. Uh, let's see. After I win, I take a break. After winner. After I win. After I, I, win, after I, I win, take a break. break. Everybody. I take a break. After I win, I take a break. Come on, let's go. Everybody. After, after I, I win, win, I take a break. Excellent, excellent. Very mm -hmm. good job. 
I don't usually work in the summer. I don't usually work in the summer. One more time. I don't usually work in the summer. I don't usually work in the summer. Thank you. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. The restaurant closes around 2 a.m. After work, my feet, my feet, and my arms are tired. After work, the water, my feet, my arms are tired. One more time. After work, my feet and arms and my arms are tired. After work, my, work, my arms are tired. Excellent. Very good job. Very good job, guys. Thank you so much. Give me one second. Let me pass Liz right now. And be my guest in a minute, okay? So, if you don't know what what it, that means when I say be my guest, that means that que quiero que sea mi invitado, verdad? Sea mi invitado, la persona agradable a mi a mi a lo que voy a hablar, verdad? Permítame. No sé si ya lo sabían, pero se lo voy a saber yo en este momento. Okay. Ya sabían que era be my guest, yes? Yes. Very good, thank you. All right, today, day is, what date is today? 16, right? August 16. August 16, very August good. 16. All right, excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh, Abigail Elizabeth Noyola Lopez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Maria Cáceres Hernández. Present teacher. Ana Xiomara, thank you. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. I am here, teacher. Eva Elizabeth Ordóñez Martinez. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Glenda Karina Baños de Serna. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Joana Guadalupe Fernandez Larinaga. Present. Thank you, Miss. Jorge Alberto Merino Quintanilla. I am here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andres. Carla Sofia Gonzalez Montano. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez, o Perez. Okay. Uh, María Auxiliadora Cornejo Díaz. María Auxiliadora Cornejo de Díaz, perdón. She's not here. Marielos Elizabeth Ábalos Barahona. Present teacher. Okay, uh, thank you, Marielos. Uh, minor Alexander Santos Solis. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Melissa Isel Lopez Franco. Present. Thank you, miss. Moises Abraham Rodas Chavez. It's not here. Nelson Rutilio Orellana Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Pedro Nataan Ramirez Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Raúl Alexander Belloso Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos de Márquez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Present. Thank you. Rudy Omar Rivas Díaz. Present. Thank you, sir. Ruth Noemí Núñez Pertica. Present. Thank you. Saira Abigail Carrillo Chavez. Saira Abigail Carrillo Chavez. Okay, she's not here. Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Swanny Marilastis Hernandez Cornejo. Present. Thank you. Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, William Alfredo Martinez Perez. William Alfredo Martinez Perez. 
Yancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Meléndez. Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Meléndez. Bueno, ok. Aquí estaba Jenny, pero no sé qué es eso. Ok. So, let's share one more time. One second. Teacher, present. No me escuchó. ¿Quién es? William. Ok. Tengo muy mala señal. Estoy acá. I am here. Okay, Jenny, very good. Jenny and William, okay, you're you're here, okay? No, no worries, okay? So, let's see. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, okay. Let's pass to our next topic. And let me know if you're able to see this. Yes, right? Okay, we're going to listen this, right? So, let's repeat, listening. 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 Listen and right, listen and listen. 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 Very good. So listen to the conversation and select the correct answer to complete each sentence. All right. So vamos a chequear la oración y vamos a copiar la respuesta. Okay. Yo creo que ya las tengo la respuesta, pero escuchemos la oración. Okay. Let's go. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. All right, guys. Um, let me answer this. Now we have a, there are one two three bedroom right so there are some chairs in the living room julia needs a microwave oven for the kitchen and that it right so let's repeat there are three bedrooms let's repeat come on let's go there are there are, there are three bedrooms. bedrooms there are three bedrooms thank you there are some chairs in the living room there, there are, are some chairs in the living room, the living room. The living room. Julia needs a microwave oven for the kitchen. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see. Let's see, we have. All right, guys. Si no lo mencioné más de alguno por algo motivo, este me manda un mensaje, verdad? Después que yo complete, pues yo reviso la lista nuevamente, verdad? Manda un mensaje para de ponerle su asistencia, ok? So, vámonos. There's no questions, no questions, right? So, uh, let's see. Nelson, please help me and read this for me. Go ahead, Nelson. In, in future, complete the conversation and use the simple present of the verbs. Select the option that contains the words to complete the question and answer. Very good, let's see. Thank you very much. Um, Stephanie Carolina, please be my guest and read that for me, for everybody, I'm sorry. Instructions complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the words. Select option Contains words, complete the question and answer. Okay, let's repeat. Uh, complete the conversations. Complete the conversation. All right, repeat simple present. Simple, simple present. present. Option. 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 Contains. 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 To complete. 
The questions, the questions and answer. The questions and answer. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's see, Peter, please be my guest. Help me with the instruction part, please. Read that for us. Peter is not there. Let's see. Rudy, be my guest, please. Complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the verb. Uh, select up the option that contains. Uh, no, no sé si lo estoy pronunciando bien. The contains. That contains. Uh, perdón, contains. 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 Contains the word. Complete the question and answer. Uh, and answer. Uh -huh. All right, let's repeat, uh, Rudy. Complete. Complete. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So I do have this information already. I mean, this uh, quiz, uh, I already answered it. All right. So, and it goes like this Does your apartment building have an elevator? Let's repeat. Does your apartment building have an elevator? Does your apartment building your apartment building has an elevator? Has an elevator. Everybody, everybody, please. Does your apartment building Does have an elevator? Does your apartment building have an elevator? Excellent. Yeah. All right. Yes, it does. Let's repeat. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. All right. And do the bedrooms have closet? Do the bedrooms have closet? One more time. Do the bedrooms have closet? Do the bedrooms have closet? No, they don't. No, they don't. One more time. No, they don't. No, no they, they, don't. they don't. They don't. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's repeat. I'm scrambled the sentences. I'm scrambled the sentences. All right. If you see kind of weird, that like this word is kind of weird, go ahead over here and check that on your translator. Okay. So, usted no se preocupe. Siempre use su traductor por cualquier cosa. Téngalo a la mano. Verdad. Estábamos aprendiendo y por Querer escuchar cómo se dice la, la pronunciación correcta, ¿verdad? Si usted cree que no es correctamente como lo dijo el, el teacher, usted se viene para acá y lo escucha, ¿verdad? Y ya saca sus dudas, ¿verdad? Por, porque para eso estamos estudiando. Oiga. Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences, all right? Excellent, excellent. Unscramble the sentences. So what did that mean? Unscramble the sentences, write each sentence in the correct order, okay? So we have over here, and we have there isn't a mirror in the med in the bedroom. Okay, let's repeat. There isn't a mirror. There, there isn't, isn't a mirror. mirror. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Very good. There are no pictures in the hall. There are there no are pictures in the hall. In the hall. The hall. The hall. Oh. Okay. There, there aren't any curtains in the dining room. There aren't any curtains in the dining room. Excellent, excellent. All right, select the correct words. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so a nurse works in a hospital. Let's repeat. A nurse works in a hospital. A nurse works in a hospital. A receptionist talks to people at a hotel. A Okay, one more time. A receptionist talks to people at a hotel. A receptionist talks to people at a hotel. Very good. A judge sits all day. A judge sits all day. 
Okay, before we continue with this, uh, I'm going to send you to the breaking rooms. I want you to, you guys, double check the sentences that you're supposed to complete yesterday, right? So, quiero mandar a los, a los breaking rooms y quiero que con su parejita usted eh, relacione las preguntas que tenía que haber completado ahora. All right, so, para eso yo le digo que las hagan. Si no las hizo, pues, ¿verdad? Usted las compara con, con quien la hizo, ¿verdad? Pero se acuerdan de lo que hablamos ayer, ¿verdad? Del tema que estábamos hablando ayer. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué era cuál? Adjective. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's go. One second. <coughs> Okay, let's go. Acéptame ahí la invitación, por favor. Okay, let's go. Jorge, Marielos, en Minor no me han aceptado la invitación. Hello, hello. Anybody here? Just Marielos, Marielos, hola. Hello, teacher. Where is everybody? There's there's supposed to be another guy over here. ¿Dónde están los demás? Solo usted está aquí. Sí, solo dos. Okay. Se puso usted como participante. Sí, solo es que me metí porque no, no, nadie abría la, la, la conversación. Estaban cerrados, pero me voy a salir. Oh. Ya entró Jorge. Ya entró. Sí, adiós. Teacher, teacher mire, y, y con lo que le dije ayer... Fíjese que es el apóstrofe el que tiene que cambiar. Tiene que, eh, su computadora no lo agarra bien porque el mío este, sí lo agarró, pero tuve que batallar ahí. Es el apóstrofe. Es, es de la manera que usted lo está haciendo. Solo es can or can't. Ajá, sí, porque lo puse así completo y tampoco me lo agarraba. Es el apóstrofe. Trate de agarrarlo de, del website. Yes. Ok. okay. Gracias. Bueno, adiós. What happened, Melissa? Do you check anything with your partner? Yes, teacher, with everybody. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. All right. So, the reason that we transfer, or the reason that we that I sent you to the breaker rooms, is to let you know. All right. So to double check what's going on with our process. Okay. Let's see. Let me let me verificar esto nuevamente. Vamos a ver. Vamos acá. Sure. Okay. Let's see something rapidly here. All right. So, esperemos por el resto. Okay. Ya verificamos estos topics. All right. So, this one. Let's right, check this one. The workplace, this one too. This one, not yet. Yes, we did this one. Grammar focus. Yes, that's the que estamos verificando, verdad? Yes. Adjectives, all right, very good. Eso está en el manual, teacher. Yes, aquí está en el manual todo esto. De aquí lo estoy viendo yo ahorita. Yes, ma'am. All right, si se fijan, aquí está, hay mucha información, ¿verdad? Las, la, las cosas que yo le estaba pidiendo, aquí hay varias, ¿verdad? Solamente que tiene que darles sentido o más bien escoger los uh, adjectives, right? So, el maestro nos ponía estos mismos adjetivos acá, ¿verdad? Como usted puede poner musician o otros acá al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, 
Acá en este caso, ¿verdad? Usted le puede preguntar si yo le digo a su classmate, uh, ask about a classmate, do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? O sea, solo imagínense que estas son rutinas del día a diario de trabajo, ¿verdad? Lo que usted hace, ¿verdad? Entonces, si algún día, pues, como le digo, por fe usted va a viajar, you can start talking if you don't have nothing to say. All right, acuérdese que usted tiene que aprender a hablar y tiene que mencionar estas cosas, estos, uh, estas preguntas que están acá, ¿verdad? Aquí dice, pregúntale acerca de, acerca de tu, de tu compañero de trabajo, ¿verdad? Claro, de, ajá, de tu compañerito. Do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? What do you do after work? Okay, estas son preguntas simple present. All right, so usted también le puede preguntar as about classmates, friends, or family members. Tell me about yourself. Where do he, she works? What does he, she do exactly? All right, so si se fija, ya le está preguntando por ella o él o ellos al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? So, entonces nos pasamos aquí al reading profile. Ya verificamos esto. Lisa Parker, ya nos dimos cuenta acá, ¿verdad? Lo que ellos hacen. En dice uh, read article, and ya verificamos eso también en las respuestas. Y ese es el que tenemos ahora. El broccoli is good for you. All right, so we have uh, basically food uh, pyramid, all right? So we have uh, three minutes left. So let me get back over here. We're going to keep, uh, ask, I mean, answering this, this questions. all right? So let's repeat. Uh, select questions to complete conversation. Select questions, select questions to complete the conversation. To complete conversation. All right. So, what would be the answer on this on this question, on this sentence? Where do you work? Okay. Where do you work? I work at the restaurant. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> what about he is a firefighter? All right. So, how they like their jobs? Where do you work? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Very good, excellent. They hate, they, I mean, they hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? Where do you work? What does he do? How do they? How do they like the jobs, right? Very good, let's see. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's pass to the next one. Oh, but first we didn't, we didn't uh, practice this. Hold on one sec, I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, let's repeat. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work at the restaurant. I work at the restaurant. I work at the restaurant. What does he do? What does he do? He he's a firefighter. He's, he's a firefighter. How they how do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? They hate their jobs. They, they hate, hate their, their jobs. jobs. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so now let's uh, let's repeat. Complete the conversations. Complete the conversations. Complete the conversation. A singer has exciting. Singer. Have exciting. Has a, an exciting, or has or a singer has, have has exciting. Has an exciting. Has. Yes. Yes. Okay, I disagree. I think a singer jobs is boring. It's not boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. A flight attendant, a flight attendant have a stressful job or a flight attendant has, has a, tre a stressful job? Has, has a stressful job. job. Has. Yes. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. ¿Por qué no elegimos esta? Has and a, stre and a stressful porque la siguiente palabra no es Very good. Consonante. Excellent. Very good. Very good. My class. Right on. All right. So, entonces sería cuál? Has an stressful. Very good. I agree. It is not stressful. Is stressful. I agree. It's. It's stressful. It's stressful. Okay, a cashier job is easy. A cashier job is not easy. It's easy. A cashier job is easy. Okay, 
I disagree. I can share. Have a difficult, has a difficult, has and a difficult, have and a difficult job. Has a difficult. Has a difficult. Let's see. Very good, very good, very good, very good. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I believe uh, everything is all set. All right. So uh, we're going to keep uh, completing the exercises tomorrow. As we mentioned before, try to complete the information or the, the exercises that you have uh, through your pl platform. And that would be it. Remember that we need to complete these exercises before tomorrow. All right. So, creo que tenemos hasta mañana para que podamos pasar al siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si tienen alguna preguntita. Si no o escuchó su nombre, mándenme un mensaje a mi WhatsApp y yo lo voy a poner ahí, ¿verdad? Para que no pierda su asistencia. All right, so if there's no questions, I see you tomorrow. Yes, Melissa? See you tomorrow. No? Okay. <clears throat> okay, I see you tomorrow, guys. Have a wonderful rest of the night, all right? So what time? Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night, tomorrow. Good night. see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.